The fascinating thing about the laws of physics is that they apply equally to all the objects in the universe. The local laws of physics are no different from the laws that follow at the edge of universe or at the center of Milky Way galaxy. In fact, physics is built that way. A law is first discovered locally by a physicist as a result of his observation of the surrounding locality and then its validity is tested through a number of experiments and through the physical processes happening all over the universe. The concept of inertia was first introduced by the famous physicist and mathematician Sir Isaac Newton in his famous first law of motion. According to this law, an object at rest tends to stay at rest while an object in motion tends to stay in motion with a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. The tendency of an object to resist any change in its motion is what we call inertia. The magnitude of an object's inertia is determined by its mass. The greater an object's mass, the greater its inertia, and the more difficult it is to change its motion. Overall, inertia is an important concept in physics that helps us understand how objects behave in motion and why they tend to resist changes in their motion. In our journey to understand the special theory of relativity, we often encounter inertial frames of reference. So it is worthwhile to understand inertia at a deeper level. Most of us think that inertia is a fundamental property of matter, which refers to an object's tendency to resist any change in its state of motion. We would agree that inertia depends only on the matter contained within the object, and it seems like inertia is a very local, a personal phenomena for the object in question. But as I have already pointed out, the local laws of physics are not separate from the rest of the universe. So, how come inertia be separated from the rest of the matter in the world? Max principle is a concept in physics named after the Austrian physicist and philosopher Ernst Mach. The principle suggests that the local properties of space-time, such as its curvature or geometry, are determined by the distribution of matter in the universe. Suppose you are standing in a field looking at the stars and your arms are resting freely at your sides. You will see that distant stars are not moving. Now, if you start spinning, the star goes on whirling around you and at the same time your arms are pulled away from your body. Why should your arms be pulled away when the stars are whirling? Why should they hang freely when the stars do not move? Max principle says that this is not a coincidence. If you see that the stars are whirling around you, there is some physical law which would make you feel centrifugal force. Max principle can be understood as an idea that an object's mass is not an inherent property of the object itself, but rather a result of its interaction with all other matter in the universe. This means that the properties of space-time are not determined solely by the distribution of matter within it, but also by the distribution of matter throughout the entire universe. The concept of Max principle has had a significant impact on our understanding of the gravity and cosmology. It has led to the development of theories such as the theory of general relativity, which describe the force of gravity as a curvature of space-time caused by the presence of matter and energy. Max principle is also relevant to our understanding of the structure and evolution of the universe. It suggests that the large-scale properties of the universe such as the distribution of galaxies and the expansion of the universe are intimately connected to the distribution of matter throughout the cosmos. Although Max principle has been influential in the development of modern physics, it remains a controversial and debatable topic among scientists and philosophers. Some argue that it is a fundamental principle of the universe, while others question its validity and argue that it is not necessary to explain the behavior of matter and energy. With a reference to this principle, Mack pointed out that inertia is not an intrinsic property of matter or space, but depends on the existence of all matter in the universe. The youthful Einstein was much attracted by Mack's ideas on the foundation of Newtonian physics and by Mack's insistence that physical concepts can be defined in terms of observables.